for me, when I first heard it, the sexy red part, salute to sexy red, but the sexy red part to um for me was so loud and jarring that I didn't hear jarring. anything else. You're my everyday. Exactly. It was just like, so, I love you. And like, I get to play off of the off key right. kind of thing. I get it. Like, yeah, She's me, ass. It? <laughs> and that's cool. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, I ladies listening, I do not support, shakes, I do not support what he just uh, yeah, said. No, she makes, she makes him shake ass. She, no. And <laughs> I love can, sexy red. I'm not saying, I, and I love her too. Mm-hmm. Right. You know why I love her? The same reason I fell in love with Cardi B. I think she's authentically who she is, mm-hmm. and she makes music for the people that she wants to make music for. Mm-hmm. She's not trying to cater to the world, mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean she's not an ass artist. I don't know. Would you? I think, would you, would you call, I think some people have it. Would you? She's call, one of those people that got it. But she has like literally like five back to back hits. Like there's something she's doing right. It is. Like, but okay, that's what I'm saying. That we all know. Get it sexy. Like, she's doing know. something right. McDonald's is great. <laughs> Here, we go. Here we go. What you mean? We love McDonald's and need no podcast. No, 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 no. We said McDonald's we, is great. We do business with them. Come on now. We do business with them. Hold <laughs> yeah, on. Let's, let's, let's use another yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Burger King is something, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Burger King. Yeah, hold on now. <laughs> hold on now. <laughs> now. Wendy's is great. McDonald's <laughs> money good over here. Oh, I got to say, my was so funny. He was like, he was like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> hold on. Hold on now. Yeah. Let's, Wendy's is great. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but, my man. <laughs> my man. We do good business with them on that side. But when I say Robble, yeah. Robble. <laughs> 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 oh, I love a good insider. <laughs> robble, robble. What did I say? <laughs> the hamburger. The hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. All right. What I say, Wendy's is great. Like, yeah, yeah it's sexy red. She is. She but, is. She has a moment. She's doing amazing. Right. Ice Spice. They're great. These artists. They're great. I think they're timely for today. Mm-hmm. But like, do you stand the test of time? I don't think so. Would they're you, ass. Would you call a crime mob ass? I don't. I think I, she will stand the test of time because she makes like party anthems. She like, will stand the test of time because of her personality and because of her and her, her hits. Who she? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Oh, wait, <gasps> she hey, has hey, hits. Save on. I, I, can I be honest with y'all? Hey, I think my booty hole brand. You want to know? What's, I think people are starting in 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 in. Maybe it's because she's connected to such a public situation. Mm-hmm. I think people are starting to move away from Megan Thee Stallion. Um, I don't think so. Musically, she she literally sure. sold out. Like fifty arenas. Yeah, so, M- MSG, I think people bro. I don't still know, love her musically. I don't know, bro. You know what? We, I'll, 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 bro, I'll that's not our that, demo, yeah. bro. But, listen, you, but hear me out though. If you're selling out MSG, dog, someone has to be listening to your shit. She sold out MSG. <laughs> like that's a big feat. In part of because mm-hmm. her management team, a company, okay. record label, whoever, they put a, uh, a sale okay. on her tickets. Okay. That doesn't so, mean they're gonna sell. It does. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that. And and again, I'm not trying to knock Megan Thee Stallion. I think she's phenomenal. Oh, I think. Sure. Okay. <laughs> that was supposed to be a surprise. Is oh, that a screenshot? Nah, I mean, nah. Like, I asked you a question. My screenshot? phone wants to answer from you because I didn't play that. I asked you. I said, "Would you call a crime mob ass?" Right? Because when they drop "Nuck If You Buck" at that time, it's very different than what everything else is being released. Right? Like there's a downside. It sounds very ratchet, ghetto to an extent, but it's lasted the test of time. So to me, I'm that like, song. Have they or has that song? No, nah, they 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 stand the test of time. That song more than them. <laughs> that song more than them. That song more than them. Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't diss our legends. Don't diss our legends. <laughs> then, like, not this shit again. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. And I'm not trying to diss the legends. I'm just trying to be real. Like, yeah. they may have captured a moment. Right. And shout mm-hmm. out to them for capturing that moment and yeah. capitalizing in that moment. I just feel like but, sometimes it's 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 easy for us to take something that sounds super polished. With the super great voice on it and the super, you know, with no imperfection type artists and be like, okay, this is what shit is supposed to sound like when people go left and mad people like it. I think, I believe there's, there's a craft to this art. And I think some people just strike gold. Mm -hmm. I think some people just lightning. It's Mm -hmm. like, holy shit, lightning in a bottle. I captured it. It's the perfect moment. It's the perfect time. It's just perfect. And they are there in that moment. I don't know I don't if know. Sexy Red can stand the test. And again, I'm not knocking, like I don't wish, and I'm not knocking her downfall. No. Like I'm, I'm not wishing for her downfall. No, no, no. Not that. But I grew up, and I do want to shout out uh, my, my step pops, right? Because he put me on like real music. Like yeah. I grew up on Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I grew up on Michael Jackson. I grew up on Prince. I grew up on... Um, um, the Luther Vandross. Mm-hmm. I grew like I know real music to a degree. And then if we want to take it out as just like R and B again, going back to Jadakiss. I grew up on a, a Jadakiss. Mm-hmm. I grew up on a Common. I grew up on artists, right? 
Sexy Red seems like she's just lightning in a bottle. She has a moment. We saw this with Cardi B. And again, salute to Cardi B. I have nothing against Cardi B. But I believe there's a reason why Cardi B is struggling with dropping a second album. Is because I think Cardi B is so smart that she understands what it is that she did a few summers ago when she had the industry in the world in the palm of her hand because it just happened to strike at that time. So now that I know that it may not, the climate mm -hmm. may not be the same, mm -hmm. right? The demand is there, mm -hmm. but maybe I'm just not in that right headspace. Maybe the alignment of the writers that I work with, the team that I have is just not there for me where I can recapture that same moment. I don't want to drop music, right? Like, Maybe she feels that and she sees that and she's smart and she's intuitive. And that's the reason why she isn't rushing to drop is because she understands the magnitude of what that album did mm -hmm. is what I see with the people like A Sexy Red or Ice Spice. It's like they can just be a flash in a moment. It can be great, but she's this. She, there is no craft. That it, this isn't art. To me, see, I, I want to be clear. That's that's the thing. That that's subjective, bro. Because I, I did. Yeah, I said to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. my period. No, to that I'm with you. Was to I'm me. With Wait, you. but did I'm you, you. Are, are you including Cardi B in the in the people that don't understand the art of it? I agree. I, I could let you get the the sexy word. Like I see what you're saying. I see what mm -hmm. you're saying. But Cardi B is also included in that. No, I think Cardi B understands it so much so that she is afraid to drop music. Okay, so basically the opposite. Okay, okay, yeah. I agree. The reason why it's hard for me to call her ass eat, because I'm I'm one of those <laughs> people. I remember when Sexy Red was going viral on Twitter before all of this shit popped off. Like she had this Up Rocks um, uh, freestyle that just kept going viral. And it's the background where it's a bunch of graffiti in the background. She's wearing oh, yeah, red. Yeah, yeah. That's right? background. It was going viral before um, the, the first hit came through, right? So to what you're saying, I didn't really understand it. Mm -hmm. But the reason why it's hard for me, because again, we know good music and I'm with you. We heard Luther, we heard Marvin Gaye. I'm not putting. Sexy Red next to Lauren Hill. I'm not putting Sexy Red next to Rhapsody, right? Like, if you are able to do something in the studio and it connect to large uh, amounts of people, it's hard for me to call you ass. Real shit. It's hard, even if I don't understand, even if it's not lyrical. Because, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. not all rap yeah. is lyrical. I respect that. No, yeah. no, no, no. I respect her, that. Cra her crazy ass bars, clearly, I like, there's that. an audience for it. I respect that. Bro. When I went to Vegas, my booty hole brown was like the theme song of that, <laughs> of that <laughs> trip. Yeah, and you couldn't Wait, understand why? 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 why. The ladies why? were singing it. <laughs> oh, okay. What you thought? I thought it was another reason. Oh. I thought you, you know. You no, you know I go on girls' trips. What's up? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now why? That's found, how I feel. Now why? Found, found. What Alex is saying about sexy red? That's why I feel about Saweetie. But I know this is not the right audience. <laughs> that's not the right Saweetie. audience. Because I, I'm not saying. Yeah. She, I always say that I'm like, yo, I don't compare it to like Lauren Hill. No, she no. doesn't have like Hell the no. bars all the time. Hell but no. she has like a lot of hits that we all know. Yeah. So Does clearly she? something worked. Do you know Ooh. what my type is? I, I, yeah, yeah, that's my that's, type. You said hits. Name oh. another one, Reg. Reg, name another one. I see, girl. Come on, that's two. No, tap in. No, how'd I go? Tap, tap, tap in. You heard I, I know You're such in. a no. hater. <laughs> I, said, I know. I'm, what's the second one? You said icy girl. How'd I yes. go? You know how it goes. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, uh, Ten uh, white toes uh, uh, on the toilet uh, floor. Uh, Mannequins and pedicures. I'm always on top. When I say I'm not hot, all these lighting just stop. Cause I'm icy. Okay. You see? I ain't never heard that. You see? The baddies know. I'm with you. That's what I'm saying. The baddies know. 3,000 copies sold first week. I'm with you. See? You're such a Hey, see, but it's sold though. Nah, but like <laughs> the reason why I said, and I and I will, I don't want to like discuss this, but I said like this is not the right, right audience for it, is because like I saw a viral tweet that was like, oh, everyone who makes fun of Saweetie's music, like she just dropped a new song, Rich Rich Tivities. Yeah. But like if you haven't heard it, that's fine, you're not the target audience. But there's like um the cast of like Real Housewives of Atlanta, like they're all blasting in all their stories, and then the tweet was like, see, this is a target audience. Like right. it's not you, it's these types of women. So yeah, exactly. just not too much on Saweetie. I love that. And and I'm gonna move on.